Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Adam, and what's this all about? Well, in this video, what I want to talk about is prepping your computer first. There's a few programs I use, uh, two main ones, that I use to prep my computer. The first one is CC Cleaner, and you can use the free one, it's absolutely fine. Um, and basically, it, it cleans your registry. So once you've uninstalled everything, clean your registry. Scan for issues, fix selected issues, gone. I've already done it, so nothing really will come up if by doing it. But you just click one button there, and another button there once it's scanned. It's pretty quick scanning it, and it's done then. And uh, it will basically any anything that's any file remnants or or folders that are left behind in your registry from your sim will it'll just delete it, right? And so you won't have lingering things left behind. Now it doesn't get everything. It's not a one hundred percent foolproof thing, but it's seventy five percent. It'll get seventy five percent of everything, and it is worth getting. You know, it really is. Um, so I always run this after I delete my flight sim off. And then another thing I do, and I only do this to my D drive. I don't do it to my C drive because my C drive is an SSD drive, one terabyte, doesn't need defragging whatsoever. But I defrag my D drive, which is a four terabyte HDD drive. And the program I use is this Ultimate Defrag 6. Now, this is an excellent program for helping your hard drive to perform better um, you can tailor make it uh, to put your files on the hard drive which is this thing here this green thing is basically my hard drive you know it sits so this is the hard drive that's in my PC this inside has a big wheel a big circle a big disk where all the information is stored and a little arm thing moves to read kind of like a LP kind of like a vinyl with a needle prep you know on the disc um, and that's it's reading the information and and a lot of the time the information is just thrown on the thing and it's thrown everywhere but if you consolidate your the fragments of information into like say for instance into into a whole piece so in other words if this folder all the contents were in the same location on my hard drive it would be easier to access you know for loading into my sim or using in my sim and the same thing for all of these now there is a certain way to do it okay there's a particular way um, and it's basically it basically goes down like this and and by the way when you get this program I, I really recommend buying it it's actually from the makers of mega scenery the guy who designed or makes the mega scenery stuff designed this program and it's he kind of specifically designed it for flight sim but it's great for just pc use in general um in the manual that you get with it he explains about your hard drive and the fact that the outer layers are where information is read quicker than the inner track you know so think of this like a record and the inner song is going to be read slower to bring out than the the outside layers you know because the arm has to reach down or something i don't it's all explained in here it's pretty detailed i mean it explains a lot more than just you know where to place your files okay so really I'd, i recommend to read it try and track that pdf down if you can even if you haven't got the program because it really has got so a lot of helpful information but basically what it boils down to is that it recommends that the files that you use the most say like 80 percent of the time put them on the outside tracks of your uh, hard drive and the files that you're gonna barely use put them on the inside um, because when you use them they're gonna be slower to fetch the information than the information around here so in other words as you can see my hard drive here is shared 
with a few other things. So I've got all my projects in here, my video editing, my music. Um, so basically, all these three, I, I'm going to place around the inner tracks. And then the P3D file, I'm going to place around the outer track. And it, and it shows you how to do this. So it's really simple, okay? Um, it's literally, once you set it up, it's, it's click, click, click. And it's just as easy as that. So you go into your settings mode, right? And you're looking high performance and you want strict placement folder file name, right? Then you can start adding the files that you're going to put in, right? That you want to be high performance, i.e. around the outside track. Now, as you can see, this, this doesn't need defragging. I've already defragged this thing out. Um, it's all, it's already been defragged as you can see. Um, I'm just showing you how to do it. So basically what you do is in the high performance zone, you know, it's all, it's the, it's the, it's the high performance uh, area of the, of the disk drive, which is basically the outer layers. The archive zone is your inner layers. Okay. So strict placement sorted by file name. Okay. I have it set to that basically. I mean, I could even, if I wanted to, I can select the files. I could literally just go in and go, right, that one okay right um and then that's selected you know and then just click okay and then start and it would basically um move all my p3d files to the outer layer of the hard drive and then i could go in again to the uh the archive zone click files and folders select the files and then just go one two three these are my archived ones put them in the middle OK, right, and then click OK, and then as soon as I start it, right, it's now going to move all those things that I put for archive in the center and everything for P3D on the outside. Now, what does this mean? It means that when you go to loading items, add-ons for your P3D setup, um, your flight sim, and when you're using these, it's going to fetch the data much faster. So loading times are decreased and performance in the sim is a lot smoother okay really recommend getting this it's super helpful okay um, and that's basically a, that's about it really you know um, so now I've done all that my hard drive is good to go now there are loads of other tips and tricks on your window settings I'm personally not going to get into that because it's going to be different for everybody. I recommend Googling what is best for you, but there are literally about 11 different optimizations that you can do to your Windows operating system, right, to make it smoother for flight simulation, okay? Um, I don't want to show a specific one because it might not work for you on your hardware. It works for me on my hardware, but everyone's going to be different. So. On that, I'd say go Google and have a look at and then work out what's best for you and do that, okay? In the next episode, we're actually going to install P3D. I'm going to go through how you can reinstall different aspects of P3D. If, for instance, your scenery library is messed up, you just reinstall the scenery aspect of P3D and everything is fine. Um, and we'll do that in the next video and we'll start to install the, the flight simulator as well. I hope this has been helpful for you. Leave a like if it adds. Um, there are some other videos containing to flight simulation and making it smoother. I'm going to put them in the playlist here. There's one for your memory, which is a great super trick for optimizing your operating system to run flight simulation really smooth. And there's a few uh, Orbex specific ones I popped in as well. Go have a look at them. Until next time, guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.